Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Data tables are a handy way of being able to change one or two variables within a formula to view and compare the different possible results in a comparison table. You can create either single variable data tables or double variable data tables. For example, you could create a single variable data table that computes and compares the different loan payment amounts for a loan based on different interest rates. Using the same example, you could also create a double variable data table that displays the different loan payments that could be made for various interest rates and different loan repayment lengths. When you create a data table, you must organize it in a specific way based on whether it is a single variable data table or a double variable data table. All data tables consist of three basic parts, an input column or input row, or both if creating a double variable data table, an output column or output row, or once again both if creating a double variable data table, and the formula that is being evaluated within the data table. The variables that you wish to modify within the formula must be entered as separate cell references within the formula being evaluated. If needed, you can create a small table that contains the cells to which you make references in the data tables formula unless you already have cells being referenced for that purpose already existing in the worksheet. In a single variable data table, you have the option of arranging the data table in either a columnar layout or in a row layout. In the column style, you place the formula being evaluated at the top of the output column, which is the right of the two columns. The left column is the input column that contains all of the possible values that you wish to evaluate for the variable reference used by the formula. In the row style, you place the formula that is being evaluated to the left of the output row, which is the bottom of the two rows. The top row is the input row and contains all of the possible values that you wish to evaluate for the variable reference used by the formula. In double variable data tables, there is only one way to lay out the data table. You must create both an input column and an input row. In double variable data tables, the formula that is being evaluated is placed at the top of the input column and to the left of the input row. The square that extends to the right and down from there is the output grid, where we will see the various outcomes of the formula being evaluated for the different variable intersections that are placed into the input column and the input row. To create the data table, select the cell range that includes the formula being evaluated, the input columns and or rows, and the output columns and or rows. Then click the What If Analysis button that appears in the Forecast button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. Choose the Data Table command from the drop-down menu to open the Data Table dialog box. Next, click into the Row Input Cell text box and then select the cell in the worksheet that represents the changing variable shown in the input row if you have one. Then click into the Column Input Cell text box and select the cell in your worksheet that represents the variable that is changing in the input column if you have one. In a single variable table, you will only fill in one of these two boxes. The one which you choose depends upon whether you have created the data table using a column layout or a row layout. In a double variable data table, you must fill in both boxes indicating which cell reference to use for your input column and which cell reference to use for your input row. When you are done, click the OK button in the data table dialog box to fill the data table with output information. This will be based on the values you placed into your input column and or your input row. Now you can adjust the values in the input column and or the input row in your data table to view various possible outcomes of the formula that is being evaluated. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.